God bless you, this is Bishop Kenyon, and welcome to Relationship 101. Now this is the introductory video, and we're going to be covering a lot of things that I believe are going to be beneficial to you. Relationship 101 is for those of you who are married, it's for those of you who are dating, and it's for those of you who may not be in a relationship right now, but the information that I'm going to be sharing with you will be very relevant and helpful once you begin to date. So I want you to tell your friends and family to tune in. Uh, it's my intention to make a video post every week, or rather every day, uh, so that I can dispense this information to you because the reality is that relationships are in trouble. And the purpose of Relationship 101 is to give you tools to help you navigate through relationships. Because we're living during a time when the divorce rate hovers around 60 to 65%. And we know that the problem is not marriage itself because God instituted marriage. But the reality is the problem lies with us. And it requires some things that we should know. It requires some changes that uh, we should make. I remember when my wife and I first uh, uh, got married, we really, really need, needed a relationship one-on-one -on -one because the first uh, uh, couple of three years were very turbulent and very rough years. Uh, some of you who are watching me, you may have seen the movie The Matrix, where this fellow was so fast that he was dodging bullets and everything. I believe he got those moves from me because very early on, we've been married about 26 years now, but very early on in the first two, three years, my wife would get angry and she, would, she was a thrower. She should have been a, a pitcher in Major League Baseball or something. She was a thrower. But I got so good at dodging. I, I was the matrix in our marriage. I would, she would throw a shoe and I would dodge and it would go over. And she would throw a shoe and I would slide to the left. The point is that we had challenges. Now I know some of you may not understand why I would be so transparent. And the reason I'm choosing to be so transparent is people need to know that much of what they are going through is not just unique to them. All of us face challenges blending these two histories together and becoming one practically, becoming one in our condition so that our condition will match our position, if that makes any sense. So I want to encourage you to, uh, once again to tell your friends and your families about Relationship 101 because we're going to have a very good time. Also, I want to share this with you. If you look just above this, this picture here, you'll see a tab that says, Let Bishop Know You Drop By. For those of you who have questions that you'd like to submit or uh, anything you'd like to share with me, just hit that tab, send it, and I'll respond between in 28 to 48 hours. Uh, anything that I can say that will be beneficial in your relationship, I certainly will be glad to share with you. Share it with you. Now, I'm offering these, these sessions are going to be free of charge because I believe that there is going to be information that I'm sharing that's going to help you. Because my purpose and my design in doing this is once again to help you and to give you tools to navigate this marital relationship. Amen? Now, uh, let me give you a little bit of background uh, history about myself. Um, again, my wife and I, we've been married over 26 years. Uh, she was like 22 when I married her. I was like 25, 26, somewhere along in there. Uh, our, our backgrounds were completely different. Well, I got uh, saved kind of late in life, around 25 actually. Uh, she came, my wife came from a very abusive and a very violent home. She saw a lot of violence from her father to her mother. I came from a home where I didn't see any of that. My father was a provider, my mother was a stay-at-home mom. So when we got married, we were merging these two histories together. And it's during that merging period where the turbulence begins to start. It's like merging two streams together. At the point that these two streams actually merge, there's going to be some turbulence. And unfortunately, what's happening in our society today is that when we reach that turbulent point, many people opt out of the marriage because of the challenges associated with it. 
So uh, with that in mind, what I'm going to start talking about today, just briefly, before we get into actual, the actual marriage of it, I want to talk to you about dating because everything starts with dating. You know how it is, you, you, you see somebody, you like something about them, and from a male perspective, like when I saw my wife, the first time I saw her, now I'm going to be very honest with you, I didn't know if she was saved or unsaved. I just saw her coming out of spa ladies. She had been working out, and in my mind, I'm saying, that's a fine woman there. That girl looking good. And uh, listen, let me tell you something. Just because you say you don't become blind, when folk look good, they look good. It just so happens that a friend of mine who was with me, he knew her, and he said, hey, that's Tan over there. So uh, he, he waved at her, and she was walking, to, had to come past us to get to her car anyway. And she stopped, and she started speaking. And while she was talking to him, I was checking her out, you know. I was kind of said, this, this, this is all right here, you know, understand what I'm saying. So one thing led to another. We began to talk, and as time went on, you know, I saw that there were some things about her I really liked. And uh, I guess she saw some things about me she liked as well. So we went through this stage of just, 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 wanting to get married and just always on the phone. You know how it is when you first start dating, you're always on the phone. And sometimes you're on the phone just talking about a little bit of nothing. You're talking about, what did you do today? She said, well, I didn't do anything much. What did you do today? You see, the content of the conversation is irrelevant at that stage. All you know is that you're talking to someone that you enjoy being around. You want to communicate with them. You want to, to reach out and touch them. You want to, to, to hear their voice and that kind of thing. So we went through that and then uh, some time passed and we got married. And then after the marriage, after the wedding rather, then came the marriage. And we had to learn to merge these two histories together. All right? That's just a little bit about me. We've got two children, uh, two grandchildren. My grandchildren love Papa. No, they like Papa. They love Grandma. Whenever she's around, I have to take second place to her, but that's all right. But so I love my grandkids. I have two children, a, a girl and a boy, and uh, we're just excited about what the Lord is doing. Amen? So, now, from the dating perspective, here is the number one thing you've got to understand about dating. I believe the number one reason you date or, or the number one thing that should be a priority when you're dating is information. You date to gather information because when you begin this dating relationship with this person, you don't know a whole lot. You know very little. And at that, the genesis of the relationship, everybody is putting their best foot forward. And you may know 5% about that person, but there's another 95% that you don't know. So dating is all about gathering as much information as you can so that you can make an intelligent decision concerning whether or not you would like to continue the relationship with this person. Once again, dating is about 411. Getting accurate information, getting the information you need to know about this person that once again will help you make a good decision concerning whether or not you want to continue in the relationship. Unfortunately, what, what goes on many times is during the dating process, you don't get enough info. Amen. You have got to get information. The purpose of it is to get information. And the more information you get, the better you'll begin to feel about whether or not you should pursue the relationship. So I want to encourage you, if you are dating, don't allow your emotions to get so caught up that you don't uh, uh, gather as much information as you can. And the reality is to get uh, uh, good information and accurate information, it takes time. Some of us are moving too slack, too fast. To get the right information, it's going to take some time. Listen, i got to go right now, but I'll be back shortly. I'll give you another post tomorrow, and we'll talk a little bit more about this 
Now, these, these counseling sessions, which that's basically what they are, I'm offering them free of charge, but if you find them beneficial to you, I encourage you to make a donation of any size. Once again, this is Bishop Kenyon saying thank you so much for coming and uh, being a part of our online community. And tomorrow I will see you and we will go a little bit further talking about Relationship 101. God bless you and I'll see you on tomorrow. Listen, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a family member. God bless you.